U.S. forces in Korea have a new commander. General Vincent Brooks had his inauguration earlier today and as the two allies wrapped up their annual joint military exercises. Connie Kim with the details. In the face of growing threats of North Korea, Vincent Brooks, the new commander of U.S. Forces Korea, emphasized the increasingly strong alliance between Seoul and Washington during his inauguration ceremony on Saturday. In the present day, the challenges continue to rise, but so also did the strength of the alliance and the resolve of the United Nations. And I will ensure that we are always ready to fight tonight. Brooks replaces General Curtis Scaparotti, who had been the USFK commander since 2013. The new commander's inauguration came on the same day as the official ending of the annual South Korea-U.S. joint military drills. The two-month exercise that started in March was the largest ever, coming after North Korea's nuclear and long-range missile tests early this year. Some 300-thousand South Korean troops and 17-thousand American troops took part along with key U.S. strategic weaponry. Two U.S. amphibious assault ships were deployed to South Korea at the same time, and an operational plan that preemptively strikes key North Korean facilities was carried out for the first time. North Korea on Saturday slammed the exercises as the worst military provocation that led to the brink of war. In a statement released by its foreign ministry, North Korea warned its nuclear attack capabilities advance every time its enemies launch a nuclear war practice. The North calls the joint drills a rehearsal for war, but Seoul and Washington insist they're purely defensive in nature. Although the exercises have come to an end, tension on the Korean peninsula remains high, as North Korea is speculated to conduct its fifth nuclear test ahead of its ruling Workers' Party Congress next week. Connie Kim, Arirang News.